Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, if, uh, if you're new here, um, thanks for uh, checking it out and uh, hope, you, uh, hope you enjoy um, uh, what I do here. I uh, had a number of comments recently on, um, it was, one of them was, uh, actually a couple of them were, you know, why, why don't you talk more? And so, <laughs> I, I guess I don't really think about it. Um, if I can uh, explain it, it's, uh, you know, this is a four to uh, th three to five hour process, um, depending on what size painting I'm doing out in the field. It's really difficult sometimes to, uh, you know, put together a 30 minute video. Here's some interesting statistics. Um, the, uh, my average video is somewhere around uh, eight and a half, nine minutes. And, uh, but my average um, actual viewing time is about three and a half minutes. So um, to put together a, uh, an hour long or 45 minute video, um, I think is, is somewhat counterproductive. I mean, the, the, the main purpose of um, what I do here is just to give you a glimpse into my journey in both learning how to uh, shoot video and uh, photograph this whole experience for you. And as well, um, you know, I'm, I'm a developing painter, so you get to see my process as I struggle through it like everybody else does. So anyway, I will, uh, I will make an effort to uh, just express a few more things, maybe share some of my thoughts as I'm painting along and kind of what, what I'm thinking, um, which, which can be dangerous, but I'll, uh, I'll do that anyway. And so, but today, hey, I've, uh, I've picked out a, uh, a nice barn here. I noticed that the, uh, the corn in, in this field is just, just starting to peek through the ground. So um, I'll show you what I've got here. Um, I've got this uh, kind of this barn in the distance and uh, I like the way some of the background it's kind of nice and dark and the uh, the barns lit up the light is actually quite flat today but that's not any really big deal either um, I do like how just how bright the sky is uh, behind it and um, kind of those uh, those trees make a uh, make a nice dark background in there so uh, today I'm painting on a 12 by 16 canvas and um, Right now it's white, so the first order of business is to get rid of that white. All right, cool. Let's do it. All right, for this uh, for this background, I shouldn't say background because none of this exists later in the painting. But um, basically, to uh, kind of get rid of this uh, stark white, which is very difficult for me to just start with white and paint. What I'm gonna what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take um, I'm going to take some French ultramarine and I'm going to take some uh, some uh, yellow ochre and which will just kind of give me a kind of a greenish greenish blue tone. And uh, just gonna get rid of this. It's kind of, I don't know how to really describe it. It's basically a kind of an OD green color, and uh, not even completely sure why I like it. But uh, all I know is uh, it seems to work really well for me. And this is just a very, just a real soupy. You can see how it, how it just runs down the canvas. It's very soupy, very thin. Uh, just a, a wash to kind of knock this out. Now, if you tried to go right into this with, uh, right into it with some sky color, you'd be in trouble because. Uh, it, it would not be very pleasing what the result you would get. 
but I'm going to wipe most of this off and it'll be, uh, by the time I get to really developing the sky, it'll be pretty dry, so you won't see much of this. And again, I'm using a lot of, just a lot of turps here. And since I've got so much warmth in this ground in front of the barn, I can just pick up some more uh, yellow ochre and just kind of lay that in down here, no big deal. Again, it won't really exist here in a few minutes, but the, uh, nonetheless, the white is gone, so. I'm going to go in here and kind of mark out where some of these uh, trees are. Uh, this kind of cuts in uh, here. And there's a tree. Cuts down here. This is just the one that's kind of up behind the barn. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but and you can tell it's uh you can tell it's summertime. That is uh practically uh practically dry already so I'll have to go in here and actually actually sketch this out. Uh All right, so this, uh, this tree kind of comes up in here. Just a little bit here. Trying to get some basic uh, basic lines, get get a feel for uh, you know the scale of this, and make sure that I'm ending up kind of where my center of interest is is kind of right in this area. So just kind of trying to keep this focused in here. I don't really like necessarily the dirt. I wish this barn was maybe turned another direction, um, but. I'm hoping that I, it can help lead you into this and then uh, you can tell kind of up behind it.
got this little shed here. Don't want to get too close to the edge with that. So, and the, this part of the barn is a little bit lower. It's got this kind of a shape. Um, this hill kind of comes up to the door. Comes in here, overhangs that a little bit. This comes down. And then the grass kind of comes down from here. And then out this way. Leading up to those doors, so. find these as I go. Basically there's a vanishing point out here and uh, these lines have to go there so and this cuts in probably like that. And then uh, I got this nice dark tree, nice dark tree over here. Uh, I don't know how soft I'm talking so I'm sorry. Uh, I'll just kind of talk you through the beginning of this painting and uh, and then I'll work for a little bit and then uh, we'll see how it goes here. Just kind of identify some of these trees here. These come up. Quite as high as this one. Probably in here somehow. All right. All right. Point. All right. I've got some lines that are off here, and I can tell by. I can just tell by looking at the barn. Uh, my lines, I don't know if you can see this or not, but they're actually going up when they actually need to go down. So. Because that vanishing point is out here on the horizon line somewhere, not out here in the middle of space. So. Uh, This one is fairly flat. Pretty flat here. And this one is just a little bit, a little bit up. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that gets me the the basics to get rocking here. So um, I'll uh, get this one started, and then uh, and then we'll catch back up. Sweet.
All right, so I've got a pretty good start here, and um, I'm going to keep uh, keep pressing on, obviously. Um, so I, I think uh, I think I like the way it's composed. Um, I guess I haven't looked at it long enough yet to really figure that out, but I'm going to spend a little more time now, just making sure I've got everything kind of nailed in there the way I want it, and uh, and then I'll. Uh, Sorry about that. Um, the uh, the light keeps the light ah, the light keeps changing a lot. So uh, I'm trying to, even though it's still really flat at the moment, uh, I think when I get the sky in here and kind of get it fully developed, which I'm going to do next, so that I can start working over top of that um, with the, those distant trees, and then just keep working myself forward. Um, Anyway, uh, I'll keep going and uh, see if we can't uh, keep from screwing this up. All right.
right, so I've got, uh, I think, just a few more minutes to kind of kind of capture some uh, some last minute details and uh, there's a couple of things that I think I think need a little bit of adjustment and um, one of them is um, I think the uh, the roof actually needs to be a little bit brighter and uh, maybe not maybe not a lot but I think maybe a little more of this uh, will be uh, will make this a little better because the lights really coming down pretty strong on it and I'll just kind of keep some texture along with that so I'm not doing anything totally crazy um, A little better. Now I'm going to take a, uh, just for a second, I'm going to take a rigger and go ahead and drop in some of these white lines. Um, some of these white lines and not, they're not completely white. Um, they're obviously because Alright, so I think I've gone about as far as I can. Um, kind of crazy, but my uh, uh, flash drive is completely full, so um, so I had to <laughs> grab my phone to to finish up here. But uh, anyway, I've uh, I've taken this about as uh, about as far as I uh, dare. I have a lot of paint um, on here, and uh, you know, trying to go over top of that is not that easy. So. Anyway, uh, thanks for uh, checking out my video as always. I really appreciate it. And um, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, share it if you like it. And as always, I will catch you later.